Sorry, hit me. Is that camera? It is. Going into uh, tomorrow, just what do you need to see differently from the team that you haven't seen over the past couple of games? See differently? This, yes. Um, it's just, yeah, I'm stringing together a game, really. Um, I mean, we've been doing really good stuff, uh, but it's just staying disciplined with it throughout the whole game. Um, so, you can say that. Uh, but again, it's, it's very small details. It's not like we have to completely change and bust everything that we've been doing. We've made a lot of progress in a lot of areas, you know what I mean? So it's very small tweaks that we have to do. Um, yeah. yeah. Huh? Steven, when you talk about, um, when you talk about small details, does focus go into that? Uh, for, for instance, just when a team goes on a run, just doing those small things like making sure that guys don't get out and transition behind you or rotating correctly. Is that part of the small things? Well, transition. Well, just in general, like having a better focus on things like that, like making sure guys don't get behind you and, in transition. Or, or yeah, it, it is those small things. What, what, what comes before that is, is making sure that we actually run a, a proper set, um, just so everyone's because everyone's everyone's they, it's just like instinct. Then you know you run a good set, everyone knows where to be once the shot goes up, um, and so that really helps with the transition to the next position. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. using your like say transition not letting them get behind you so that helps um, with that uh, but it, yeah it is more so a lot of those things because they all link into each other don't they um, all the stuff so it's fixing all those and do the best that you can um, I mean we're, we're giving like full effort and it. it's just like just a couple of mental breakdowns here and there you know so it's just fixing those if you fix those then I think we get to control the game better yeah this might, might seem like a simple question but when you have one breakdown how does that affect the rest of the guys defensively when you have that one breakdown or, or somebody might freelance or, or not stay with their assignment yeah um we, we, we never have freelancing that's i mean yeah that's rarely seen it's it's more like um we're, we're expecting a breakdown because i mean these players are really really good mm -hmm. you know what i mean so we're expecting a breakdown somewhere and it's just that awareness and um how quick you are of getting over and helping that person but then once that person helps, the next person's got to rotate. Does that make sense? So it's now it's just like this scramble mode where everyone's on a string. And so you're anticipating a break, uh, breakdown. Um, if all goes well, which percentages, eh, probably won't. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how you got to play it. It's like, eh, probably won't go well. Um, your rotation's got to be there um, for that. Last season, Russ did a lot of the yeah. damage and a lot of the shooting. <laughs> yeah, nah, sometimes. Uh, last season, Russ did a lot of the shooting. Layden Gibbs is very, very good at it. This season, he's still doing a lot of the shooting, but he's adjusting. He's got a couple other guys. How do you see him handle the adjustments, particularly at crunch time, of having these other guys in here? How's he handling it? Yeah. I think he's doing a good job. Um, I, think, I think it's more like, I don't know, he's, he's making the right decisions. Um, from what I see, it's like the plays that are set, you know, in the game plays. I mean, it's not like he's doing anything crazy, deviant from the play. He's just run, he's doing the play. You know what I mean? So I mean, he's from that point, he's I think he's doing an amazing job. Um, yeah. yeah. What, well, right, but right, <laughs> no, I get it. I'm not saying that he's doing anything wrong. That wasn't where I was going with it. But I guess where are the struggles in close games coming from this year in particular? Uh. Close games. Uh, honestly, uh, uh, mainly me, to be honest. I, no, honestly, um, because the, the play itself, you, you have to execute it and like properly, and it has to be legit down to the T. Um, I screwed up my, my my feet on a couple of them, like in terms of spacing, uh, which, yeah, I mean they just didn't get a clean look at it. Was it? You know, you know what I mean. So like everyone plays a part in, in the play, um, and so you could say like, yeah, the shot doesn't go on, which sucks. Um, but to get that shot, I didn't help them anymore. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, mate. Yeah. Steven, <laughs> <Steve>, statistically, <laughs> statistically, you guys have one of the best defenses in the NBA during first quarters. Second quarters, it's a little bit worse. Third quarters, a little bit worse. Fourth quarters, a little bit worse. And I know you've talked a lot about mental stamina and keeping that up. Are there are there any other reasons for why, specifically on the defensive end, you guys have progressively had that trend? So, why do we get? progressively worse throughout the game. Is that the question? Yeah. Defensively. Um, I don't 
know, it, it, I mean, the same old stuff. I keep keep saying the same thing, but I think I think it is. Um, it's the same thing. It's because you, you come in and everyone's everyone's just aware. Everyone's not. I wouldn't say focused. Everyone's focused, and everyone's trying to give full effort. You know, I mean, everyone's trying their hardest. Um, but like everyone just comes in and they're super aware of everything. Um, and it's just maintaining that throughout the whole game, which is, it's a tough thing to do. Um, yeah, it's just a tough thing to do. But I, I guess as the game goes on, it's, it's still just sticking and remaining disciplined with the game set, no matter what they throw. Because they'll throw in, a, say, a couple different actions and then you might change up something which then no one's ready for. So yeah, it's just it's just sticking, just having like you got to just trust our whole defense that we've been working on for the past, however, and just trusting that it's going to work out, and not try and make these like amazing defensive plays. You just you know stick to our solid defense. So is so is any just to make sure I'm under understanding? Uh, is is any part of that just kind of adjusting to their mid game adjustments? Ah, uh, yes and no. Um, because the, the only adjust like it won't be any crazy adjustments defensively. Um, it's a you're you're reacting to them. I know you're reacting to them, um, but it's more just I don't know. You just gotta just um, whatever they put in. It's because we've been over every single set that you could possibly run. Really, any sort of action that you do, we've been over it, and so it's just staying sticking with those rules, and giving that, that a chance. Um, you got to give it a chance, and if it doesn't work, that's when you could change. But if you're not giving it a chance to actually work, then you know. There's no point in changing it until you give it a give it a good crack. Stephen. Yeah. Yeah. God, English is tough, eh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Stephen. Paul was talking last night about you guys know teams are going to make runs. It's it's the way the NBA works. But it's a, the problem is that those runs are so sustained. How, how much of a concern is that against a team like Golden State and the way they can have, make prolonged runs? Uh, just how long they can make get a run for? Yeah, yeah. How important is it to keep them from going on those long kind of runs like you guys have been giving up? Those long kind of eighteen to four, you know. Oh, those ones. Like how? So how important is it to stop them? Yeah, and and, and how hard is it against them to do that? I mean, yeah, I mean, be cool if you could stop them. That's always good. And then, um, <laughs> but from there, it's just I don't know. With this team, it's again, it's if you you just got to stay disciplined. If you try and do anything, kind of. You know, gamble at all. Like that, that's when they really come out and hurt you with this team. So it's just staying disciplined. And if they if they're scoring off like your defense and you're playing solid defense, then just, you know, you're just gonna like oh, carry on, just keep cracking out. But like, you can't just do these gambles and stuff like that because that's when it really goes downhill. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it'll be cool to stop a run. Yeah, you know. Couple, if you guys switch, speed, yeah. if you guys switch one through five tomorrow, and you're you're matched up on Curry, what's your I guess focus or mindset in trying to limit him? No, just make sure he just doesn't get a three. Really, mm -hmm. um, just that, and then trust my backside. Um, yeah, just the backside help. That's pretty much it. Uh, most of the guys. That's that's not just him. It's um, most of the guys. Uh, depending on the person though, who I switch yeah. on to, it's same stuff. Force them into the help and uh, get a good rotate and switch back on and stuff like that. It's pretty, yeah, pretty standard stuff, mate. Same old stuff. Ain't nothing too, uh, too crazy. Push him out of the middle onto the perimeter or to the wing. You see, you, you're, you're saying like if, if he is going to try to drive to yeah. try to prevent him from getting middle. Yeah, yeah, no middle. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, yeah. We're a no middle team. A lot of them in the leagues. Why not? Anything else? Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen.